Oh man, welcome to the first ever video here in Forza Horizon 5. Now it's currently 1.30 in the morning on November 5th, 2021. I've had the game up and running for about two hours now. And uh, I've done a couple of missions, gotten some cash. We're sitting at a pretty, pretty penny of 300,000 credits. And I figured there is no better time to build our first whip than now. And you may notice a difference in quality from previous videos because this is the first Forza game that I'm playing on my PC, which is an absolute monster. And I don't know why I didn't download the other games on the PC to begin with. But we... <laughs> I made the switch, okay? I made the leap. And we are now rocking the, the high quality, high definition, 60 frames per second goodness of Forza Horizon 5. This game's graphics are absolutely incredible. But I don't want to sit here and talk about that because we got a good old soup right in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. I love the active arrow on the Supra. I feel like it's, uh, it's kind of swept under the rug. But uh, the active arrow on the 90s cars is pretty cool, like the 3000 GT and the soup. But uh, the menus are a little hard to learn. Not gonna lie, uh, it's quite different from the previous games. I don't know how I feel about this grid thing. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, I'll be daily uploading Forza Horizon 5 content for the next... Wow. Um... That's interesting what i was trying to say is i'll be daily upgrading uh, d i i can't even talk this is what am i looking at right now holy moly okay considering it's the first ever kit they've added for the supra they went a little crazy mad respect <laughs> uh if you have any videos you want to see let me know down in the comment section below as uh We've, we've got uh, some daily content coming out. I hate that hood so much. It just deeply bothers me. But uh, we're just going to do a nice, a tasteful Supra. Show you all the options and, and whatnot. We all know the stock wing is the best. But uh, in case you're feeling some, some spice, we got the duck bill. We got a... Uh, that... Big Country Labs. It actually feels like I'm playing Car X right now. If you're unfamiliar with that game, you get some pretty wild options in Car X. And this is uh, looking very reminiscent of such game. So all of these were in Horizon 4, I believe. Nice simple options. Th these, I hate this menu so much. It, it just, I hate it. But, uh, what you gonna do? Nice simple aesthetics here, and you guys already know, we're rocking the 2JZ, but uh, something I find interesting, you can actually rev the car in the garage now, so we'll put on this 6-2, it does have like a weird lag, but um, it's alright. And the 4.8 V10, if I'm not mistaken, that is the LFA swap. It sure sounds like an LFA, but as I pan around the car, you can hear it change. So you hear like intake noise up front, and it reverberate in the back, and then the back of the exhaust. I think that's absolutely amazing. Good sound engineering there. But the single turbo swap, 160 horsepower right off the bat. For your engine, Let's right just here. see what this bad boy does completely maxed out. The turbo. The one in question. How do I switch my, my stats here? Uh, toggle. Boom! 700 horsepower right from the turbo. Let's go. If you've watched my previous videos, specifically the video from yesterday about the uh, B5S4, we built that in Forza Horizon 4, you guys would know I complain about how realistic the uh, power upgrades are in Forza. It's just always something that's bothered me. But uh, Forza's definitely not doing us dirty. 1600 horsepower Supra. So uh, we're going to throw on the rally suspension. Hopefully we can get some squat hookup easier. That's the thought process behind it. How realistic is that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Whoa. 
sport, race, race 9 speed, race 7 speed, race 10 speed. This is interesting. Okay, off-road diff, drift diff, race diff, and rally diff. So, I wonder what the difference is between a drift diff, because, you know, normally you just, like, weld the diff. You weld the stock diff to drift it. I Look, I own, I've owned multiple 240s. I know how this works, okay? It's just a normal diff. <laughs> For wheels and tires, I did already get a sneak peek of this, but we have, uh, like, the semi-slicks is now what it's referred to. And then we have a full slick. Where'd that go? No? not Oh, yeah, slick and semi-slick. So these are actually going to give you different levels of adhesion between the two. Which I find very interesting, but dry tires. You know you know what you're doing here, okay? Dry tires. But yeah, that's it. Fully upgraded. Do you want to continue working? Or shall we get these installed? No, get them installed, woman. With zero tuning. 1600 horsepower. Let's just see what this bad boy will do out on the streets. I, I don't want to start it up because the festival noise. Is that, uh, can we change that quick? Hang on. Let's give her a quick rev here. Excellent. I did not stall, I promise. It looks like this is our drag strip right here. Unfortunately, I don't even have the, uh, the race unlocked to do the drag racing. So I guess we'll just, uh, we'll DIY it. Or what is this right here? Is that another drag strip? I haven't looked around the map. This is kind of my uh, my first gander here. Plenty of drifting roads in here. Holy moly. We've got a little circuit up there. Excellent. This looks like uh, the Saudi Arabian little grass desert things. Ooh. No. It's an airfield with a jump at the end. And there's an... No, it's a bridge. Okay. I guess we're just going to start at the festival. Maybe we'll head on over to uh, those other areas here in a minute. Oh, the squat on this bad boy. Alright, boys. Let's... Uh... Can we do the whole launch control thing? No, doesn't look like it. Hang on, let's turn ABS off. Alright, well, that's a PB right there. Faster than the Apollo IE for sure. Holy moly. I I really don't shut. Be quiet. I guess we also forgot to paint it. That's really not going to bother me too much, but uh, it will be changed for the thumbnail because I'm not a big fan of the blue, personally. Oh, wheel spin? Hang on. Get some cash? Okay. Or an eco boost. Get some cash? Uh, not, not what I was looking for. Okay. So it automatically adjusts our tire pressure. So it's a drag car, apparently. Let's just throw on some kind of uh, hobbled together tune here. Now, because I don't actually have the drag racing event unlocked, I wouldn't expect anything too wild. Um, but we are just going to throw on a little baseline here. Give it some positive camber. And uh, looks good, looks good. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's pretty soft, but it's still spun, so we don't want to stiffen it up too much. Yeah, what is that? Lock that bad boy. <laughs>
It is so fast. What am I? Sixteen hundred. Let's go. Oh my goodness. That is absurd. That is absurd. That was my my Donnie Trump impression. If you couldn't tell. I want to try and at least get the gearing dialed in a little bit. So, um, what is a quarter mile? Let's actually try and map out a quarter mile and see where the finish line is, because very rarely is it at the speed trap. That's what I've learned over playing Horizon games for the last, oh, nine years? I've been playing this game for nine years. So, uh, let's actually map out a quarter mile here. What does this guy got? NASCAR, cool, cool. Oh, come on now. Let's just go to the speed trap then. Well, uh, that'll be our inaugural test. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's actually dumb, and I love it. They definitely changed the physics and added tire smoke, but uh, the physics sideways feel completely different. It could be the drag tires, not sure. You actually have to use like throttle control now. Good job, turn fan. She is a steamer. What is this? What it what is happening right now? Is that a sandstorm? That's kind of annoying, I guess. So I guess we will revisit the whole uh, drag racing bit once I actually have uh, the drag strip unlocked. I will play through some more tonight and uh, hopefully we can get that up and running. So let's go see what this whole house situation is. Of course, driving the 1600 horsepower Supra. Boom. Okay. Little pull for the boys. Oh, 42 and it keeps going. It's more than just my house, it's your house, my friend. This is about home. This is my casa. Horizon, I took Mexico Spanish for two years in high school. I know Welcome what I'm talking about here. To your new home. So, does that mean we unlock the drag strip, Anna? I'd like to quickly comment Check on something. Pretty cool, no? Where is it? You can keep your clothes in here and get oh, it's not here anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Can we just add another one that's pin slash is, please? I love that it also... It sounds like we've got a sequential trans in there. That's a very excellent detail. You only hear it at, uh... Like when it's bogging at low RPM. Oh! Oh! oh. So I guess this isn't the best airstrip to run on then, because it is, like, abandoned. But, um... Maybe we can get a heads up drag race real quick. I want to try and dial in our tune a tad bit more. We are just spinning so much. I'm just, we're softening the living heck out of the rear end of this car. We're just all the way down. Everything all the way down. Maybe we can pull wheelies? If that's possible, it's going to happen. All right. He left. Oh, it hooked up. Wait, hold on. I was just waiting for it to spin. It didn't.
Oh boy. That was what? 260 miles. <laughs> Bro. Right off the bat, this, this soup is just so capable. I love it. I also forgot to check how much boost we were running, so uh, let's do a quick street pull. I saw 43, which, uh, you know, according to Granis Racing, that's the pitiful numbers, but if you're making 16 hundo on 43 pounds of boost, I give it to you. You got, uh, you got a pretty efficient setup there. Got a nice AFR flow, uh, technical <laughs> stuff or something. Okay, it rides honestly like my BMW. It really does. That's how I feel driving my BMW. eBay coilovers for the win. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out tomorrow's video, which will be based off of one of y'all's suggestions. But uh, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.